going on, ninjas? It's Saving Saturday. Yeah. So here we are at finally the brush job that I've been wanting to get out of the way for a while now. I'm getting ready to show you obviously what we're clearing. It's just a corner in the back that she wants everything cleared out. So I'm gonna be cutting everything. As you can see, Noah's rolling up the tarp. Getting ready to go out here, show you. We're gonna be using the Milwaukee battery powered, uh, I called it Quick Connect even in yesterday's video, but it's actually, I think, called Quick Lock. Quick Lock. Quick Connect, Quick Lock. What's the difference? Same thing. Morning, sunshine. Morning. I'm glad you uh, decided to show up. <laughs> huh? How was your sleep? Did you sleep all right? Yeah. Get enough cuddles? <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so this is the milwaukee extension which is the power saw or extension pull saw uh and how is the oil in that terrible okay terrible dust and we got to put some oil in here so go ahead and do that noah don't spill don't spill, spill noah we'll spill it everywhere okay you're a spiller you a spitter spiller <laughs> yeah, I'll hold it and you always want to make sure of course you got oil whenever you are using any kind of saws Whew, that was close Okay, so the Milwaukee M18, we're gonna go ahead and use that. I charged up the battery last night. This is the extension I'm gonna bring just in case I need it. But here it is. So basically the same thing as uh, what I showed you yesterday with the pull trimmers. You, you loosen this always, seems like I always get it tight. And then you just slide it down in. Why are you cheesing? <laughs> slide, slide it down. Stop, dude. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be serious here. <laughs> slide it down in there until it clicks. Sometimes you gotta wiggle it, play with it. Really. Tighten it. That's it. And hold on. Take this off. So hopefully it'll do good. Looking forward to using this and putting it to the test. But we're also gonna bring, bring the old trusty Echo there. Uh, the chain is probably not the best, which is actually pretty good because I, I'm hoping it can make it through this job so that way it'll justify. Hey, I'm up here. You know, like recording down this area is- I'm up here. It's unnecessary. <laughs> it's unnecessary. Uh, justify to replacing it because I have a new one. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna take this with us. I'm gonna take you back there and show you what actually needs to be cleared out. Let's go. So Ninja's basically, it's just this corner right here. Not the big trees, of course, but all this uh, brush that's around it. <clears throat> and the overhang right here, I mean, pretty much just cleared completely. And I think the hedge trimmers, uh, Noah, are gonna be coming handy for this small stuff. You know, just like, just like that. And Noah's already started picking up some of these things that are already been laying around, but, and that's it. So the good thing is it is hot and humid, but we're actually in the shade. We're in the shade, which is so beautiful. It's so beautiful, isn't it, Noah? Noah, is it not beautiful, Noah? Milwaukee battery 
powered uh, multi-tool is phenomenal. I'm really impressed with it. I basically knocked out all of this with it. And I have a little more to go, but I'm gonna go ahead and let Noah get ahead, catch up and get a lot of this out of the way so I can see a little better what's cut and what's not. The power that battery has, I mean, I can, I can go ahead and cut these uh, trees that are still standing. I already cut a few, look. And it, it wasn't bogging down or struggling at all, which is phenomenal. <clears throat> Another really cool thing about it, guys, I think I pointed it out when I was unboxing. But whenever you cut something, whenever you cut something, You've got this little blade right here. Not only can you use it to rest on a limb when you're cutting it, but you can also hook it with this hook and just pull it towards you. It's phenomenal. Super cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. First of all, lower your voice. Okay, I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ninjas, it's a wrap. Got the dump trailer all loaded up. Gonna go ahead and quickly just show you the aftermath. Noah just washed the uh, wheelbarrow because there was a lot of ants in there. I pretty much knocked out this whole corner with that pole saw. I had to actually stop. I had to stop uh, helping Noah drag the brush for a minute because I had to make a couple of phone calls to some customers and also talking to another wannabe ninja. So we'll be meeting up tomorrow, get him the application in the packet, and we'll see uh, if he's the right fit to start next week. See? Noah's all excited. See, while I was on the phone running the business, right, which is what I do, Noah picked up a bad behavior from somebody uh, previously. And I told him there's a name that we call that. And he said, but Yank, what's the name? What's the name? And I said, it's called clock sucking. <laughs> yeah, because he was clock sucking back there. Instead of dragging the remainder of the brush up here, he took it upon himself to take the echo chainsaw and do what? Cut a, cut, cut a stump and he was just like, he was doing it like a wave. Like he was like, mm, 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 like, and I walked over there. He didn't even see me. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? He's like, oh, 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 yeah, no, yeah, uh, 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 uh. Found out that the dump place is actually closed Saturdays and Sundays. We ended up doing all the shrubs in the front of the house. But yeah, that's what we did today. And I did not want to fool with the camera when we got home because guys, it is, it's unbearable. So possibly starting a new guy next week. Caught, obviously caught Noah stealing some time from me, right? Uh, clock sucking at its finest but uh <clears throat> it was a good day got a new tool that i purchased here it is guys and on one side you've got the sharp angle where you can scrape off all that grass and on this side you've got a pretty tough looking brush that you can clean off little corners and areas it is made out of plastic of course so we're gonna put this thing to the test and see how it holds up and if it does a good job or not. Let's get this one out the way. This is a very uh, cool guy. His name is, I think, Josh. And it's from Garns Lawn Care. And I think Josh is the one that sent me a hat. It's like a bright green hat. He's also sent me a magnet right here. Garns Lawn Care. And it's, it's just a magnet, like a business card type. But now he sent me some stickers. So Josh, I hope that is 
your name. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Uh, means a lot for the magnet. And now again, the stickers and also the hat, man. I appreciate that. I love that hat. So the next one is by Braden uh, from Excellence in Lawn Care, Affordable Lawn Service. And he gave me a nice sticker. That's awesome. So Braden, I actually recognize your name by just some of the comments uh, on my videos. So I know you're a loyal ninja. So thank you for sending that. We're going to put you up here next to all the ninjas up here. So means a lot, man. I appreciate you also supporting and watching as well. Okay, <clears throat> next one. His name is Jim Williams. And I think I even recall seeing this on the comments. You see, so when we interact with each other and you guys are loyal and you comment and um, on just about every video, you know, there's certain names that stand out. So these are some of the names that stand out, so I recognize. But thank you, Jim. Thank you, I appreciate it. So here's the letter. I wanna read this to you guys. Hey, Nick, how's your day going? I enjoy your videos and I hope, hope you you watch my video on YouTube at Jim's Landscape number one. I'll check that out, Jim. Did not know that you had a YouTube. I'll definitely check that out. Enclosed, you'll find a magnet for your cabinet of fame. Please pick a great spot. <laughs> For my magnet card, I've been in lawn care business for 39 years, 39 years, and run my business solo due to can't find any help. Thanks and have a great day. Jim, 39 years, brother. My hat to you, they are, that, that, ah, I'm speechless. That is awesome, man. 39 years, ninjas, and he's running solo. Why? because he can't find reliable help. See, a lot of you talk about this, people coming and people going and quitting and questioning if it's, oh, maybe it's you, Nick. Maybe, maybe it's you. No, maybe it could be to some people, maybe my personality doesn't sit well, but guess what? It's my business, it's my life. But the reality of it is, it's like this everywhere. The reality of it is, I seem to be the only one sharing it in uh, in this YouTube community. Okay, I'm the one sharing how hard these it is to find a good person, and that this type of industry and this, these types of jobs, people come and go all the time. And I'm not the only one battling with it, but I'm the only one sharing it. And um, so that's why maybe it seems sometimes that <clears throat> it's me, which to some people it may be, and that's fine. But overall, it's the industry, man. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. Real business owners will tell you the same thing. Ask anybody. <laughs> All right. The next one is Matt is not a lawn care guy. Hey, Nick, I am not a lawn care professional, but I enjoy taking care of my own lawn and pride myself making it look like a professional job. That is awesome. I enjoy watching your videos and picking up some of your pointers. I wanted to let you know I appreciate the hard work you put into your videos and the time it takes to produce them. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate you, my ninja, recognizing that these videos are not easy. It takes a lot of time. It takes time away from family. Um, you're trying to squeeze in little clips here and there throughout the day as you're trying to get everything else done. You get it, brother. Thank you, you get it. A little about me. I am in law enforcement in South Florida area and I enjoy watching your videos every night. My job can be stressful at times and I can count on your videos at night to help me relax and decompress after a tough day. That means a lot, man. And thank you for your service, bro. Stay safe out there, but man, loyalty, brother, loyalty. Thank you, Matt. You are awesome, man. Um, I like that you en enjoy what you do and have fun doing it. Sometimes I fall asleep before you post before you post your new video, but I enjoy catching up catch, catching up on them in the morning before work as well. I was glad to see that you are prioritizing time for Mama and Baby Ninja and not rushing to get the videos posted. It's tough for anyone to balance work, family. In addition, you are running a successful YouTube channel on top of it. Remember, you don't get that time back with Baby Ninja and enjoy all of it if you can. You're so right. You're so right. You're hitting 
the hammer on a lot on nails, man, on some key points here. I wanted to show my appreciation and send you a couple of magnets for the Wall of Fame. These magnets are from the task force here in South Florida, and I hope that they can find a way onto the lockers, even though they are not a lawn service sticker. Thank you, Nick. Sincerely, Matt. Thank you, Matt. And yes, yes, they will. That is so awesome. Blue Lightning. Police officer. I'm not putting them there, but I'm just putting them on there for now. But, dude. Loyalty. Thank you, Matt. That means a lot, man. It means a lot to all of you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. But for now, peace.